So what's on guys and welcome back to episode number 105 of our Portsmouth career mode and we've got a very big game here against Aston Villa because guys if we go ahead and win this game we will be crowned champions whatever the score lines are elsewhere. This is the game that could crown us champions of the Barclays Premier League because Spurs are currently um, five points behind us but there's two games left so we're going to have to lose them two games and Spurs win their two if they want any chance of getting the title themselves, but I don't think that's going to happen unless we slip up big time. So Deli Ali winning the ball back as he played the ball through to Hugo Azevedo. He fake shots past his man. Hugo to go all the way. Can Hugo score us the goal? Maybe not, but he plays the ball back to Emre. Emre through to Gabriel Barbosa. Barbosa goes for the strike and he's hit the crossbar, but it comes back inside to Deli Ali and Deli Ali strikes it first time as well, but the goalkeeper pulls off a fantastic save to deny Deli Ali from scoring a fantastic goal. Emre Moore with the ball out wide to Usman Dembele. Usman Dembele scores us the goal. And that could be the goal to win us the title. He's going ahead celebrating in front of the fans. And look at all the players going over to congratulate him. They know that goal is really going to settle the nerves. A fantastic strike across the goalkeeper into the back of the net. And we're 1-0 up. What about this though? He's gone on a days in run. Carlos Gil goes through and they've recolized. Carlos Gil just took on about four or five of our Portsmouth players. The former Elche man scores. Well, he doesn't score, but he sets up Sem de Jong and uh, they're celebrating. They think they've halted us from winning the championship. Or the championship, the league, I should say. It was a dazing run from Carlos Gil. I don't know how he's managed to get past all these players. Just look at him. He goes all the way. And then he offloads the ball to um, Sam de Jong and that's a simple finish into the back of the net. We've still got work to do here. So Hugo Azevedo back through to Deli Ali. Deli Ali's going to try and curl it into the far corner. Oh, oh, Jordan Pickford was diving frantically for that. I think he thought that might have been dipping under the crossbar. So now we've got the chance to break with Emre Moore. Emre Moore through to Gabriel Barbosa. Barbosa cuts back inside. Can he find the back of the net? He goes for it and he's found it. What a strike that is from Gabriel Barbosa. That is something special. How he's managed to do that, I just do not know. What a goal. Gabriel Barbosa, Gabi Gol scores the goal and that is something out of this world. This time we decide to take on the shot with our favourite left boot because we know he's got the quality to do so. Emre Moore, the provider, what a ball back inside this is and that is some finish. Past Jordan Pickford into the corner of the net, no stopping that one, get in. Lovely ball from Emre Moore back inside to Usman Dembele. Dembele goes for goal and Jordan Pickford, the English international, making the save. What about this? They've been played through. Javier Manquillo playing catch-up to try and get back to block the shot from Ferreira. Javier Manquillo goes to ground and what a challenge that is from behind. We had to get that one right. Otherwise, they would have been awarded a spot kick. But Javier Manquillo, wonderful tackle. What a ball that is though through from Deli Ali through to uh, Hugo Azevedo. Hugo around the corner back to Emre. Can Emre end his goal drought? He can't. Emre Moore, when is he going to score? Aston Villa have a really good chance towards the end of the game though. They go for goal. Can we get that one clear? We can't. And they've scored. In the 93rd minute, De Jong has scored the goal. Deli Ali had previously got sent off for a stupid tackle that I actually made to try and make some substitutions. Javier Manquillo loses it and now they've scored the goal. So maybe the nerves were kicking in towards the end. Are we still champions? I'm not sure. So, a very late goal for Aston Villa might have put water on the fire. Um... We dominated the game. Obviously, we definitely deserve to win it. Uh, Emre Moore picking up man of the match, even though he didn't score. He set up the goal. But um, Spurs beat Leicester 3-2. Liverpool won. West Ham won. Are we champions or is it going to go down to the last game of the season to decide if we have been crowned? So let's have a look. No. It's going to go down to the last game of the season. We're taking on Arsenal and Spurs. Let's see who Spurs are taking on. Who are Spurs taking on? Oh, God. This is going to be a real, real crunch match. Um, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Let's view the fixture. Spurs are going to be taking on Swansea at Swansea. So, oh, my God, guys. This is a huge game. A huge one. Oh no, 
So youth player wants our Adriano Amaral because he wants to be called up to the senior squad. So we will call him up because he is a very good player. And he's 68 rated now and he's got a high potential. So let's go ahead and call him up straight away. Um, so let's have a look um, and calling him up. Yeah, he's 68 rated. He's got potential between 83 and 89. So obviously he's a decent player. So let's offer him a contract and bring him straight up into the club. Even if we go ahead and uh, send him out on loan. I'm not sure. Then we've got this guy here. He's got potential between 86 and 92, so it looks very promising. We've got the centre-back between 75 and 93, and we've got the other centre-back between 73 and 91. So we've got some decent players in there, um, but we're not yet going to be promoting them because at the end of the day, this series is probably going to be ending within this season or the next season. So therefore, we need... We don't really need them. That's what I'm going to say. Anyway, it's now time for the second game of the episode, and it's one of the biggest ones because we're going to be taking on... Arsenal and we've got to win so it is a must win game we're taking them on at the Emirates oh god guys we need to win the pressure is on us big time now and we've got our second team line out come on boys Arsenal got a really good chance early on though surely they're not going to score are they Archie Bell saves us and we need to get that one clear oh god the nerves are really settling in wow we need to try and settle the nerves, actually. But the nerves here are really starting to show. We've got to try and score to settle them. As we've got a good chance here as Sefian Bufal tries to squeeze it through to Connor, But we couldn't quite do so. Good chance for Sefian Bufal, though. Can Sefian Bufal find the back of the net? He cuts back inside. He goes for goal. And thank God for that. It got a deflection. But we're going to take the short corner with Sefian. Can he find a good ball into the centre? It's a good ball in. We win the header, but it comes back out to Sefian again. Sefian puts another good ball in the box, or tries to. And that's a better ball. Connor, can he win that in the air? He can. Connor Chaplin goes for goal. Is he at the post? It comes back to Dominic Martin. And Dominic Martin has found the back of the net. And that settled the nerves. We've taken the lead at the Emirates Stadium. And if it stays like this, we are going to be crowned champions. Dominic Martin, the player that we've had on the scouting all season long. Well, not scouting, but the training has scored the goal for us. Colin Chaplin's shot hits the post. And we just about managed to get that one into the back of the net. Get in. Good fruit to Dominic Martin here. Dominic Martin tries to play the ball through, but he's lost it. But can we win the ball back? We can't. And now they've got the good chance to break. They play the ball over the top and we should win that with Josh Vela, but we do. But all he can do is play the ball straight back to John Terrell. And now we've won it back and now we can break. This is where we're most dangerous. As we've got the ball with Imbolo. Imbolo through. Oh, through to Dominic Martin. Dominic Martin gets hacked down. So we're going to try the power free kick from Sefian Bufal. He hits it with power and he can't get it back down over the wall. Lovely ball back inside to Brill in Bolo. Now Brill's got the chance. He's put it wide of the post. Brill in Bolo. That was a fantastic chance, mate. We've got a fantastic chance with Dominic. Dominic Martin plays the ball back inside to Stavance. We can see the ball over the top here to Tito Sifuentes. Tito back inside to Conor Chaplin. Conor Chaplin does well. He's just about managed to hold on to the ball past Mustafi. But then Mustafi does take it. And Arsenal now are applying all the pressure. They want the goal. I'm not really sure why Arsenal will want to score a goal. Because then that will mean if they score, it could give Spurs the chance to win the title. Not them, so I'm not really sure why they would want their arch rivals winning the Barclays Premier League title in front of us. Lovely ball through to Tito Sifuentes, so Tito, oh, he tries to squeeze it through, we're in the 90th minute now, come on boys, we can just hold on for the last few minutes to win the Barclays Premier League title, can't we? Oh, they, oh no, they play the ball through to Holden, Holden's got a fantastic chance, Archie Bell comes out, he makes a phenomenal last grasp save, and the referee blows the full-time whistle, that is it, we have been crowned the Barclays Premier League champions, but why are we not celebrating? Why aren't we celebrating, guys? This is the last game of the season. Are we going to lift the title? Are we not going to see any celebrations? What's this? Yes, I think this is now. I don't know what's that. Yes, there we go. The Barclays Premier League. There's not really that many celebrations, though. But here we go. We're going to lift the Barclays Premier League title. And Mbolo is there. Um, who's got the captain's armband on? Who's got it? We'll have to find out. I'm not really sure who's got it, actually. Uh, there we go. Josh Vela's got the captain's armband. Uh, he's going to lift it high up into the air. There we go. We win the Barclays Premier League title. That is a phenomenal achievement from us. I never thought we would have achieved it, but we've done it. Savant celebrating with all of his new teammates. And uh, what a way to wrap up the season. Well, we haven't wrapped it up yet. We've still got two finals to play. We've got the FA Cup final now as we will be taking on Everton and then we have the Champions League final against 
Spurs. So we're going to be playing Spurs. Spurs actually lost as well against Swansea. So they finished the season on a low, but we managed to win. Man United lost as well, but we won the game. So even if we lost it, it wouldn't have mattered. But we wanted to finish on a high. We did, and we crowned champions. What about that, guys? Competition prize money. £125 million for winning the Barclays Premier League. I'm sure we're going to have a big transfer budget next season. I surely hope we will. So, it's now time for the FA Cup final. We're going to be taking on Liverpool in a very tough tie. So, let's see how we can get on in this one. It's going to be the final game of this episode. And in the next episode, we will be ending up the season with the Champions League final. So, we've got our strongest lineup for this one. And hopefully, our strongest lineup will be fully fit for the Champions League final as well. So, let's jump straight into it. Can we do the triple? We can win the Barclays Premier League, which we've already won. Then win the FA Cup. Then win the Champions League. Can we do all of them? We'll soon find out. Come on. Decent chance, though, for them. They've got the ball. Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez cuts back inside. Then number 44 goes for goal. And eight minutes in, he's taken the lead. Oh, dearie me. Not the fairy tale ending we were liking. Renato Sanchez scores a fantastic goal into the back of the net there. And Liverpool have taken the lead. And as you can see there, Wembley is full of red at the moment. All the red fans are celebrating. We've let in a stupid goal. We probably should have done better there. Uh, Lopez uh, was out of position. Christensen tried to come across. Got absolutely nowhere near Renato Sanchez. And that's some finish into the far corner. We need to try and respond quite quick. So Hugo Azevedo here through to Usman Dembele. Dembele takes on his man. Can he keep on going? He keeps going. There Usman Dembele to try and get there before Carrius. And he was clearly being held there. Alberto Moreno obviously wanted to try and swap shirts before the game had even finished. He was trying to pull it off him. What a chance this is though for Philippe Coutinho now. They're charging down the wing. Oh, they're surely not going to score the second, are they? <sighs> Jesus, they're really dangerous on the counter. And we're really struggling to keep them at bay. We might have a good chance though as we've got the ball here with Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus back through to Emre. Emre turns his man. Emre on his favourite left boot goes for goal. And that's a fantastic save from Carrius. Good ball through to Gabriel Jesus though. Oh my god, why do I keep saying Gabriel Jesus? Gabriel Barbosa, play ball through to Usman Dembele now. Dembele goes for goal. It's a clear handball by Alberto Moreno. But obviously the referee will never give that because I don't think... Uh, can you actually turn on handballs? We were not going to do it because there'll probably be about 50 penalties per game. But Ousmane Dembele have a good ball in the box and carries just about tips it away from the head of Emery Moore. Emery Moore with a fantastic chance. He squares it. And we try to square it across to Barbosa, but for some reason it tried to square it to whoever was on the edge of the box. And I think it might have been Deli Ali. No, it can't be Deli Ali. He's down there. So I don't know who it was on the edge of the box anyway. But now Deli Ali's gone to ground. And now Liverpool, as you can see here, we just cannot seem to get the ball away. They play the ball to Renato Sanchez. And Renato Sanchez is just running the show himself. He is just unstoppable. We've got the ball with Deli Ali though. Deli Ali through to Emre Moore. Emre Moore out wide to Hugo Azevedo. Hugo Azevedo cuts back inside here. Uh, he's going to try and play the ball over the top to Gabriel Barbosa, which he does do very well. Gabriel Barbosa cuts back inside. He goes to ground. No, not a foul, obviously. Do well, though, with Dembele. Cutting back inside. Dembele to go all the way. Can Dembele offload the ball to Hugo Azevedo? He does do. Hugo cuts back inside, and he gets, to, gets back tackled. So there's only 20 minutes remaining now. We've got to score a goal soon. So we've got the ball with uh, Barbosa. Barbosa through to Usman. Dembele. Dembele goes for goal, and Karius has denied him this time. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to be our day, is it? It might not be. And it looks like we could be go crashing out of the cup in the final stage. But we play the ball through to Dembele again. Dembele with a good chance. Dembele goes for goal and he hits the side netting. Four minutes remaining. So we're going all out attack now with Hugo Azevedo through to Emre Moore, through to Henrich. Henrich to put the ball in the box and we win ourselves a corner kick. So everyone will be coming up for it. Um, Archie Bell. No, Archie Bell's not coming. Bit of a surprise he's not coming, but anyway, Dembele puts a good boy in the box. Can we win that in the air? Please don't tell me Carrius is going to get there. No, Carrius didn't get there. Then it reflected off the guy on the line and then deflected straight back into his arms. Please, referee, give us one last chance with Deli Ali through to Barbosa. Barbosa to strike it from the edge of the box. It gets blocked and they get the ball clear. It looks like the referee is going to bring the game to a halt, isn't he? It looks like he will do it unless he will give us one last chance with Clever Menezes winning that one through to Emre. Emre through to Barbosa. This could be our chance. Barbosa to go all the way. Barbosa to finish it. And Barbosa scored. How the referees allowed us all that time to continue, I just do not know. But in the 90th minute, we've scored the goal, which is going to take it to extra time. Liverpool fans cannot believe it. The referee probably should have blown for the final whistle. Carriers can't believe it either. He's been beaten. We have done it. 
in the last minute of the game, Barbosa turns, he goes all the way, takes the ball past Dembele, and what a strike that is, past Carriers, into the back of the net. Get in! We win the ball back though, we oh. I was about to say, we win the ball back and we were going to be through, but they've got the good chance here. Well, Javier Manquillo wins the ball back with Deli Ali. Deli Ali through to Emre Moore and we've lost it. But we can see that Liverpool are going for the goal, which means they're going to be leaving space at the back, which is space for us to exploit. No, 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 Archie! Well done, Archie. He just about saves the day. They were all on their own. If he managed to turn, he would have been through on goal. We've got the ball with Deli Ali now. Deli Ali through to Emre Moore. Emre Moore through to Barbosa. Barbosa loses it. And now it looks like unless someone can score within the next five minutes, we'll be going to penalties. Three minutes left in the second period of extra time now. They play the ball into the centre. Archie Bell comes out and collects that. And now he's going to boot the ball forward because we can see Tito Sifuentes all on his own. Tito first time ball back inside to Emre Moore. Emre Moore can see the ball out wide to Amaral who's also just come on the pitch. The player we just promoted from a youth contract. We decided to bring him on and um, there we go. It's penalties. Oh, keep your composure, Jamie. Come on. It's penalties. So... The first penalty is going to be given to Gabriel Barbosa. He's going to go to the top left-hand side. And that's a good finish from our main man. And now it's going to be Renato Sanchez, the Liverpool goal scorer, up against Archie Bell. Can Archie Bell deny him? He goes the wrong way. And Renato puts the ball into the back of the net. So now it's going to be Victor Stavance, another left-footed player, goes the right way. And that's a fantastic emphatic finish into the top-hand corner. So now it's going to be Daniel Sturridge going for the long run-up. This could mean he's going to blast it straight down the middle. Do we stay put or do we dive. We're going to dive to our left-hand side and Daniel Sturridge has missed the target. So now it's going to be Henrich, our right back. He's going to go for the strike and oh no, he's hit the bloody crossbar. No, Henrich has hit the crossbar. So now it's time for Van Houten. He's gone for a really kind of weird run-up. He's going to go to the right-hand side. No, he doesn't. He puts the ball right into the corner of the net and that's a fantastic finish. And now it's going to be Deli Ali. Deli Ali surely he's not going to miss the target, is he? No, he's not. He puts it right into the top-hand corner and there's no goalkeeper in this world that would have saved that. So now it's going to be Saudio Mane as well going for that really long run-up. Where is he going to put it? Is he going to put it to the left-hand side? You bastard. He chips it straight down the middle. That's a decent penalty. And now it's going to be Emre. Emre Moore. Surely this guy's not going to miss the target, is he? He doesn't as he puts the ball into the roof of the net as well. So now it's sudden death. Stuart Raro has to score the goal for Liverpool. Otherwise, we will be crowned champions of the FA Cup. Archie Bell up against Storaro. And Storaro puts the ball into the back of the net. So now it goes to Tito Sifuentes. Tito Sifuentes, what a penalty. And we have been taking some fantastic penalties. Apart from Henrich's penalty that hit the underside of the crossbar, we've been doing well. So now it's going to be Philip Coutinho. He's normally so reliable from the penalty spot. The little man himself goes the right way. And that's a fantastic penalty off the inside of the post. And that's going to be Amaral, the player that we've just brought up from the contract, goes for the strike. And that's a good finish from him as well. So now it's 6 Five on the penalty. It's going to be left-back time. Alberto Moreno up against Archie Bell. Archie Bell goes the right way. Alberto Moreno puts the ball wide. And Archie Bell is the hero. And that is it, guys. We've been crowned champions of the FA Cup. We've only just been crowned champions of the Barclays Premier League. Now we're champions of the FA Cup. And now, guys, we've got the chance to become triple champions. We could go ahead and win the Champions League final if we can beat Spurs. So we truly deserve that win. We played fantastic as we done very well. Please tell me we're going to see them lift the cup, aren't we? Are we? So it looks like we are because as you can see there, all the players are on the pitch at Wembley. They're all celebrating. We beat the Liverpool by coming 1-0 down. We scored a really, really late goal from Gabriel Barbosa to take it to extra time. Nothing much really happened in extra time apart from... Well, apart from nothing. And then it went to penalty shootouts and we done it on the penalties. So that is it, guys. We managed to win the FA Cup and our man of the match does go to the almighty Gabriel Barbosa after he scored that fantastic goal that put us into extra time. And then in extra time, nothing really happened until penalty shootout and we kept our composure and we done it. We won it and now it's time for the Champions League final. However, guys, that will in fact be it for this episode of Career Mode. You're going to have to come back for episode number 107. Is it 107? 
No, 106, I think it is. Anyway, you have to come back in the next episode to see the Champions League final as we will be taking on Spurs. But if you didn't enjoy this episode, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it will be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you are new, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.